What is up, guys? It has been a month since I have done a commentary on a video, so what's up, motherfuckers? Okay, we are doing a free for all on one of my favorite maps in the COD 4 series, and it is Crash. Free for all on Crash. Um, I'll be using the, the ACR with a silencer. I'll be using the AA-12 shotgun. Run, 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 run. The AA-12 shotgun with a grip. Um, be using Scavenger Pro, Stopping Power Pro, and I will be using Ninja Pro. Be using Claymores for my equipment. And let's see, my kill streak setup is going to be Harrier Strike, Pavlo, and the Almighty Tactical Nuke. Okay. We are on Crash. This is one of my favorite maps. Um, my favorite map in the COD 4 series or Modern Warfare series period would be... Would have to be Chinatown, I would say. Um, my strategy for this map is to find a building that you are comfortable in and take it over. Um, it is very difficult on this map because every building that you can enter, there is two ways into that building. So, it makes it a little bit tougher to secure a location when there's two ways in and two ways out. So, you really, really got to keep moving and you really got to keep your ears wide ass open. So, uh, what I did was, is I got the old Triton headphones out and turned the volume up all the way so I can hear every little footstep. I know where people are, and if people are in my building downstairs, I will know. Unless they are using Ninja. Okay, so that's pretty much it, and... Just basically watch the video and I'm going to sit here and bullshit with you guys for a little bit and let you know what's going on and what my plans are for the future and my video recording projects. Um, well, what my what to look forward to for me would be uh, new camping spots for the new maps, of course. So, uh, keep an eye out for that. Um, it will be soon. Um, uh, yeah, let me, let me say something real quick. If you notice that my, uh, my movements in this game were real sloppy, um, I'm overturning or I'm running into walls and whatnot, the reason is I have bumped my sensitivity up all the way to insane. So, I haven't got used to it. I haven't, I'm not used to it 100%. So, it's a little sloppy. I overturn a lot or I've noticed when I'm throwing grenades or flashbangs, I'm not hitting what I'm throwing at. Just because I'm not turning too much. Um, and I am using my tactical setup. Those who don't know what tactical setup is, basically you take, you go into options to your button layout and switch it from default to tactical. And what that does basically is it switches your crouch button, which is your square button, and it switches it with the R3 button, which is your right uh, joystick. So whenever you push down on your right joystick, you lay down automatically. So it works out really well. It will save your ass. Uh, if you watch, if you see me shooting, and then all of a sudden I just lay down out of nowhere, that's a tactical setup. It saves your, it will save your ass, and it will help your game. So try it. it takes a while to get used to it, but it does help. Um, 
Let's see. What can we bullshit about? Hmm. I want you guys to send me some feedback on these new maps. Um, I really don't care for them all that much. I just think uh, they rushed trying to get the maps out. So, I mean, and they are very, very, very camper friendly. And what I mean by camper friendly, I don't mean by what I'm doing is camper friendly. Um, yes, I'm camping, but, you know, I'm camping in basically a different way. Uh, base camping, I call it. Uh, with these other maps, you know, there's just too many corners. And, you know, especially in the houses, there's a lot of corners you can get into. Uh, places you can just hide and just jump out and take somebody out. Man, there's just too many holes to get in. Um, all the buildings. That was what I was talking about. <laughs> Whoops. Um, base camping on these new maps. It's going to be very, very tough because... Um, they all have two or three ways in and out of each building. So... It's going to be tough. I mean, it's going to be real tough to get a, a tactical nuke in some of these newer maps. If you're playing a free-for-all. Uh, domination or capture the flag or headquarters. That's a different story. you got more players. Uh, you got people rushing just to get to the headquarters. Not worried about getting kills. Um, so, you know, we're doing a free-for-all or a team death match. It's going to be, you won't see a lot of tactical nukes on those maps. Um, I am going to try my hardest to get a tactical nuke on each one of them in a free-for-all. But I'm not going to promise you anything. Um, I am going to show you the strategies that I would use for these other maps. Um... So you can try what I try, you can do what I do, and see if you can't have more luck than I have. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. So, uh, and guys, please tell me, I don't know, but I have done some searching on YouTube. And I have done nothing but look for a tactical nuke on Crash in a free throw. I have not seen one on YouTube. I cannot find one on YouTube. So, please, I'm not trying to say that I am the first one to put a tactical nuke on Crash on YouTube. But I have not seen a tactical nuke in a free-for-all on crash you know if I am wrong I apologize but as far as I know this is the first tactical nuke on crash in a free-for-all to be put on YouTube so if I'm wrong sorry I just haven't seen one on YouTube yet so, so well, guys, there's your nuke, and hope you guys can use use this strategy and hope it works for you the way it's worked for me. And okay, thanks for watching. Like I said, please, please come back, uh, rate, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have a good one. Ah. Uh.